We've all had it happen. You conduct a search on Google and then you find an ad for something totally irrelevant. You searched for used cars and then you found an ad for medical devices. When your ad shows for an irrelevant search, it wastes you money. So to make sure your ads only show when they should, you need to understand the different Google AdWords keyword match types. Optimizing your keyword list is crucial for a successful Google AdWords campaign. This list is made up of search terms that you want to trigger your ad. There are four keyword match types that you can use to keep your ad placement relevant. There's broad match, modified broad match, phrase match, and exact match. All of these match types work in conjunction with negative keywords to make sure that your campaign is as loose or as tight as you need it to be. Broad match is designed to reach the widest audience. Ads with broad match keywords will trigger when the search contains your keyword, its synonyms, or close variations, even if it's misspelled or the words are out of order. For example, if your keyword is running shoes, your ad could show for red running shoes, tennis shoes, running without shoes, or even barefoot marathon. Sometimes this can work really well, and sometimes it can miss the mark. Always keep in mind what your end goal is and make sure broad match fits the bill. To refine your search terms a bit more, you can always use broad match modifier. Modified broad match, or broad match modifier, or BMM, eliminates the close variations aspect of broad match. By adding a plus sign before each keyword, your ad will only show for searches that contain those specified keywords. For example, you can show for shoes for running, but you would not be able to show for tennis shoes because tennis isn't in your keyword phrase. Looking for something more specific? The next option is phrase match. This option is helpful when word order is important. By putting quotation marks around your keyword phrases, you're telling AdWords that it can only show your ad when someone's search matches your phrase. If we put running shoes into phrase match, the search shoes for running will not show your ad. However, people searching can add words in front of and behind of your keyword phrase. For example, red running shoes or red running shoes for women. If you want the utmost precision, then what you're looking for is exact match. By adding brackets to the beginning and end of your keyword or keyword phrases, you've limited AdWords to only show your ad when someone searches your keyword with verbatim intent. That means that it could show on searches with abbreviations or the addition or subtraction of function words like prepositions and other words that don't impact the intent of a search. For example, a query for shoes for running is a close variation of the keyword running shoes. When you use exact match, you will receive fewer impressions and clicks than with other match types, but often you'll see a higher click-through rate because the search traffic is much more specific. Lastly, let's talk about negative keywords. Advertisers use keywords to tell AdWords what searches they want to show up for. Negative keywords do the opposite. They act as bouncers to the door of your AdWords account or as traffic directors between your campaigns and your ad groups. Match types are important when you're formatting your negative keyword list too. For example, running shoe design as a negative keyword in exact match would prevent your ad from showing for the verbatim search running shoe design. However, if you also want to block designs for running shoes, you should format that negative keyword into a broad match. By default, Google uses exact match on their negative keywords, so you need to make sure that you're checking your negative keyword list for formatting too. Always make sure that you're on top of your search terms report and that the traffic coming through your AdWords account is the right type of traffic. You can find your search terms report under the Keywords tab in your AdWords dashboard, and then there's a button that's labeled Search Terms. You may see some surprising things in there. Want more digital marketing tips? Click the link to visit our Education and Resource Center, subscribe to our blog, or get a one-on-one -on -one Google AdWords review with one of our experts. Thanks for watching.